Good morning, guys. It is Monday, August 21st, and it is my baby's first day of school. Oh, today I'm feeling all of the feels, and it's just crazy. Like, today, as I've been home, and I don't have a child, and I was drinking my coffee and getting ready, and like I had time to take a, a nice bath and just like ponder life. Mm. Ignore that. Um, anyway, so distracted. Um, yeah, today I just feel like, like a, I'm in a Disney movie or something. Like, my whole life up till now, sorry, I hated myself. Hated. I had depression for many, 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 many years. Um, I've had anxiety my whole entire life. Social anxiety, like, just anxiety all the live long day. Um, as I've gone through this journey, losing weight and all this stuff, like learning how to deal when you just want to stuff your face, when you just want to emotionally ignore everything that's going on. Um, you get to a point that you can't really just ignore everything because you can't eat and yeah, it just kind of pops up and you have to deal with it. And I have felt a lot of things. I have remembered the horrible things that people have done to me. I remember being engaged and going to elope. And this is a long distance relationship. He came out and he left me because I was not thin enough. But I'm so thankful I didn't end up with somebody that's so shallow and, and so, I don't know, unloving. I am so grateful that I went through all of the things that I went through and that I got to this point and I have a wonderful man that loves me no matter weight I'm no matter what weight I'm at I'm preparing for my like dream wedding I have a beautiful smart independent little punky little girl and we are trying for another baby like I feel like all of these things that I've wanted my entire life and were just always out of reach are finally happening. And today, oh, I'm not going to cry, today as I got my daughter ready for her first day of school and um, I went to take pictures of her, I actually wanted to be in a picture with her. That never would have happened and I'm really, really thankful that I had the surgery and that I've had to think about these things and I've had to learn to start loving myself and to feel like I deserve to be loved. And it's not because I'm skinnier that I deserve to be loved. Even when I was at my heaviest, like, I could always see worth in other people, no matter what size they were, but I couldn't see it for me. And now I'm like, you know what? I am a good person in a relationship. I try to do nice things for them. I will give them back rubs. I will cook gourmet meals. I will do anything in my power to try to help and make them have a better day and to be supportive. And I deserve to be loved. No matter what weight I'm at, I deserve to be loved. And even though this surgery is not going to fix your life, I still, I don't know how I'm going to pay for everything for this wedding. I would love to move out of this crappy old house. Like, those other things, they're still there. But this morning, like, it may not seem like a big deal, but it's a big deal that I wanted to be in a picture with my daughter. I want to be in there making memories. I want to be an active participant in my life. Like, I have done so many things in the past year that I never thought that I would do. I have horrible, horrible anxiety, especially driving. This past weekend, I took the four boys that I watch, not getting paid, I just took them for the day so their parents could hang out and have a good like weekend after their anniversary. And um, I drove in the cities with all of these children in, my, in their vehicle. They let me take the van. But, like, I did it, even though it terrified me to get off on all these exits in the bowels of the Twin Cities. And, like, I took them to the zoo... Like, before, I would let my anxiety run me, and I'd be like, it's too scary, I'm not going to drive there, I'm not going to take all of these kids into a busy place, we went to the Como Zoo, it was so, it was really fun, and I made myself do it, 
even though it was scary for me and really scary because I'm not on Xanax anymore. Like I could do nothing but just sit in that misery in the drive and worry and whatever. And last night I was up to like one something in the morning worrying about wedding stuff and this has to get done yet and this has to get done yet. And I still have anxiety, but not being over 300 pounds, I'm not freaking out that I have to bring my daughter into school and that people will stare at me or what if they had like they're redoing um the cement in front of the school and they had just like plywood boards that you had to walk over and it was like a little wobbly when you walk I would have been terrified that I would have like broke the board or you know these things would have been like absolutely terrifying to me to go and do but I did it and I enjoyed it and I took pictures and I just I was in the moment I wasn't freaking out because of my weight. That has taken a huge relief off of me. And just having to deal with this stuff instead of using food to not deal with this stuff. You know, after my ex-fiance left me, I didn't talk about it. I didn't deal with it. I kind of laid in bed for a couple days, miserable and hurting and horrible. And then I just closed it off and I was like, I can't. It was too painful. It was, it was my worst nightmare coming true. That somebody loved me, but because of my weight, they didn't love me enough. Only because of my weight was I not lovable. That was like my innermost, deepest, horrible thoughts. And it happened. And I survived. And I moved on, and now I'm like working through these things, dealing with these things, and learning to just heal. That's a pretty cool place to be. A really cool place to be. And if any of you are like, oh, I don't know if I should have the surgery, it's dangerous, it's, you know, horrible things could happen. But guess what? Amazing things could happen. Um, I'm not saying the surgery is going to fix everything. I'm not. But it helps. It can help you fix yourself, if that makes sense. I I don't know how to explain it enough or or give it enough credit. But for me, this has been absolutely life-changing. Most positive thing that I ever could have done. Like... I feel like I can do anything. Like, I can sit in a chair with my legs all scrunched up. I can, you know, be active and push a double stroller up a hill to the zoo. We had to park, like, a mile away from the zoo. We were closer to the Minnesota State Fairgrounds, which I could see, like, a block away from me, than we were to the Como Zoo. And I trekked up this hill in the heat and whatever, and I got there, and I was fine. And... We pushed the kids all day long. I wandered around all day. I can do whatever now. And it feels really, really good. So yeah, I just had to, while I was feeling all the feels, to let you guys know that this can be amazing for you. It can be life-changing for you if you let it. If you follow the things that you're supposed to. And, you know, if you start working on these things instead of turning to food... I didn't do it by myself. I couldn't do it by myself. But once my coping mechanism was just ripped right out of there, I had to. So, and it was not easy. You guys saw, if you've been watching my journey, you saw when I put all of my like sugar-free goodies out on the couch and I was like, this is what's happening. And even now, like I had a stressful weekend and a crazy weekend and I ate a couple mini cupcakes. I ate you know, things that I don't normally eat, and I was stressed out, and I, but it is not to the magnitude as it was before, and then I always come back, I rein it in, and I keep going. This journey is not about perfection. It's about just keep trying. Just keep going. Just keep trying to know, to do what you know is right. Just keep trying, and it has been successful and awesome for me and I am so excited to see what the next year brings but I love you guys 
Thank you so much for being a part of this journey. Thank you so much for listening to me when I'm rambly, when I'm sad, when I'm excited. Just thank you guys for being a part. It, it has been an amazing, amazing journey to get to where I am today. Love you guys. Talk to you later. Bye. you have today, Callie? What's today? Hey. Is it your first day of school? Yes? So did I say, oh, my baby's all grown up, and then what did you say? Uh, you don't have a baby anymore. Oh, uh, what are you now? You're not my baby anymore? I'm a grown girl. Oh my goodness, you will always be my baby. I love you. My have a good day. Have a good first day of school. I love you every day. Well, you will still love me, but I'm going to be a big kid. Oh, my when goodness. I'm, when, I'm a okay. bit, when I'm a grown up, I'm not a baby. Okay. And you're not calling me a baby. All right. I'm I, I love you. Let's go to school. Okay. Yay.